part of this is I'm going to explain the case to Pune Knight and the traditional Sammak there. In, in August 2013, Knight released a line of uh, women's sportswear in which, which was inspired by the in which they used designs from the Samoan Peatatu. Um, soon after its release, the Samoan community showed a backlash and they voiced their objections about the use of this traditional tattoo on women's clothing through petitions and um, <coughs> on social media. This led to Nike to stop production and also to stop the sales of the products that were already produced. However, this case has not been indicated in court yet and it was dealt with within a time span of one day as, as soon as this backlash started, Nike uh, pulled out and stopped productions. So there was no case that was taken to court actually. Now my group looked at um, the fact if this case was taken to court, I'm sorry. that they have used. As you can see that the first picture indicates the actual pair of tattoo that men are supposed to be tattooed with. And the clothing line that Knight came up with was inspired by the same similar patterns and tattoos. And according to some traditions that would be disrespectful as this tattoo is only supposed to be used by men. While doing this case, you, we also had to think about the fact in which IP rules would tattoos be classified under. So there are three different types of protection rights that any form of idea or substance that are created by human can be given. That is copyrights, trademarks and patents. Um, copyrights is the legal right that protects the use of a person's work or idea once it has been physically expressed, it lays out a framework of rules around how a work is supposed to be used and it sets the rights and responsibilities of how, the rights for the owner and the responsibilities for other people who want to use that work. The two elements that need to be uh, satisfied to gain a copyright is that the work must be first, it must be original, and the second, it must have become in tangible form. That is either it can be performed or written or in a musical form, but it has to become tangible. It cannot just be an idea. The second form is trademarks. Trademarks is a symbol or name or word or device that is used to, with trade goods to indicate its source and also its creator. And the third one is patents. The patents is a government authority or license conferring rights or titles of an invention to the owner and it, to give him sole rights to execute that from making or selling or using that invention. There are patents are further divided into three categories. These are utility, design, and plants. Utility basically looks at any machine or something that is created, it gives rights to that owner. Design gives rights to people creating new or original designs of an article to manufacture. And plants is if people create a new sort of plants by asexually reproducing it, it gives a distinct right over that plant. Um, my friend, my next colleague,